Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Today we have another plant comparison video. This one was requested by one of you beautiful people who asked me if there was a difference between the Hoya latifolia and the Hoya Sarawak. And of course the answer is a resounding yes, but I can see how they are easy to mix up considering I purchased a Sarawak and they sent me a latifolia. So even they <laughs> were a little bit confused on the differences between the two until I showed them a photo side by side. So I just wanna preface this by saying that each specimen is going to look different. No two Hoyas ever look the same. No two leaves ever really look exactly the same. So take this with a grain of salt. I am going to show you both plants and highlight to you what is the most common differences between them, but you're not always necessarily going to catch them right away. It depends on the specimen. It depends on the maturity of the leaves, but I'm going to show you in the best way possible how to tell them apart without them being in bloom. So the latifolia I should mention is also known as macrophylla. It was renamed to latifolia. So it's just the macrophylla albo marginata that most Koya collectors have, but without any variegation. And some of them are capable of getting really big and sun stressed and beautiful. So there's lots of different kinds of latifolias. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really know the difference between many of them because I have another latifolia in the greenhouse that doesn't look anything like this one. It's one of like the larger leafed ones. It actually honestly looks more like the Hoya Loisandrusiana, the one that I have in the greenhouse, but that's not what we're talking about today. So what I have here is a Hoya latifolia cutting because I chopped up the plant. Um, this is my one piece that I'm keeping. I sold off a few others and this is one uh, more that I still have available. I'm just waiting for it to root. It looks a little bit damaged. Um, that happened, I think, during shipping, but the leaf actually itself is fine. It hasn't spread. It's not rotted. Um, it's not squishy. It's perfectly firm. It's got some really nice little splashiness to it. So this one's going to be available in Etsy if you are interested in that. I'm going to use this one as an example because it doesn't have any splash on the leaves and I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier. So let's talk about the latifolia for a second here. You can see it has these nice veins going down. It's got this midrib vein and then it's got these two along the outside that are kind of almost parallel with the middle vein. Like they curve slightly, but not a lot. They're pretty much straight. The leaf is nice and oblong and it comes to a pretty good point. It gets pretty narrow at the end here and it comes to a pretty decent point. And the thing that happens with this leaf that I think is really interesting is that the veining causes this dimpling to kind of happen inward. So it's like concaved slightly. You get these little concaved dimples in between the leaves. So it's common for these leaves to almost kind of get a more concave I need this word synonymous <laughs> with that. I can't think of one. Um, look to their leaves, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put that one down for a second because what I wanna show you next, obviously, is the Hoya Sarawak. So again, it's gonna seem really obvious because you just saw that one. <laughs> now you're seeing this one and you're like, well, duh, that's a different plant. But they do have a lot of similarities. So as you can see, even on a smaller leaf here, we have this midrib and then we have these two going down the sides of the leaves. But what you will notice on this one is that these two veins that go down each half of the leaf, I'm trying to like use words, but my brain's not fully functioning. It's fine. Um, they're very rounded. They're almost circular. Um, so that's not always going to be the case with smaller leaves. They're not going to um, be quite as rounded, but you can see 
they almost go more towards like the outer edges of the leaves and then another cool thing about this plant is you kind of get that same dimpling effect between the veining except with this one they are more raised up or convex to use the same you know verbiage I was using before I don't know um so you get more of like a billowy look to these leaves it's kind of hard to tell um but you could see how they almost kind of look raised up and then obviously they have a more heart shaped leaves they're not oblong they do come to a point but it is not at all a narrow point it comes to a very very wide tip on these leaves and even like the baby leaves come in pretty heart shaped even this little one you can see for me the dead giveaway are that those second set of veins when they are rounded and more heart shaped you've got a Hoya Sarawak on your hands and when they are a little bit straighter you have got a latifolia on your hands do you understand what I'm saying they can both get sun stressed and get kind of maroon in color but two very very different Hoyas two beautiful Hoyas but different so you could see this one can get a little bit splashy just like that one they can vary in like the greenness of the leaves this one has some maroon undersides this one does not I don't think that's true for all latifolias but this one in particular does so yeah these are your differences between the Sarawak and the latifolia you can give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a super thanks button if you want to send me a couple of bucks to get an iced tea in this blistering hot weather while I'm out running my errands it is very much appreciated and um, yeah come join the official plant fam if you want to hang out with us we have a group chat on Instagram and we just did our first members only live stream and it was a lot of fun so you guys should come on over and hang out with us we always love inviting new people into the family we're all pretty good friends at this point so it's a really nice little community that we've got started and I'm very very happy about it so come on over join the plant fam and uh, yeah that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below if you have any requests for another comparison video. If I have the plants, I am more than happy to show you them side by side so that you can see the differences for yourself. So yeah, that's it. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye.